Come guys, and we're gonna check out Tower Brawl Legends Royale. Now an awesome, awesome game that you definitely need to play. It's an interesting PvP kind of game where you're going to have your main tower summon a lot, a lot of heroes that you're going to be able to use in different kind of fights. So without further ado, let's jump into a fight and let me show you. This is going to be your battle deck. Depending on how much did you play, you're going to be able to unlock new and new heroes with different kind of skills. Obviously, you're just going to need to figure out what is the best hero for you to use in different kind of fights okay now that's going to be one of the main things that you do need to focus on uh, besides that try at least at first to play and see how the game is suitable for you if you're into those pvp kind of games definitely play it i'm not such a big fan of these pvp games but for sure uh, let's say some of you will enjoy this game as i mentioned it's an interesting enough kind of game now you're going to fight with uh, just one main uh, uh, adversary let's say uh, if you're going to fight him and if you're going to win honestly you're going to be able to get some crowns out of that fight if you're going to get enough crowns you're going to be able to unlock the co-op option and in the co-op option uh, you're going to be able to play along with one additional uh, online player obviously and if you will win and if you will pass different kind of waves you're going to be able to get more and more rewards out of it different kind of cards more and more gems more and more gold coins and so on now the gold coins you're going to need them because you're going to need to upgrade your uh, heroes you're going to get some hero cards that's going to be one of the main tricks in, the, in this game if you do have enough uh, hero cards you're going to be able to level them up obviously you're going to increase their stats you're going to increase their damage that they are able to uh, do uh, in the fight and so on now every once in a while you're going to see that your uh, tower summons a big big hero depending on the map that you're going to be able to play in uh, if you're able to actually kill the adversary's big big hero you're going to get a chest that it's dropped with a parachute from that chest you will be able to get uh, additional items you will be able to pile up those items and those items as you can see over here will offer you additional additional benefits it's going to be uh, a random thing so it's not uh, like for example for each specific map you're going to get only what uh, one item or what uh, you will have the possibility to get from those chests also some uh, silver coins uh, from those silver coins uh, you're going to uh, upgrade your uh, your tower and also you're going to be able to summon more and more heroes and try to defeat the enemy that's going to be one of the main things over here now depending on the strategy that you're going to use but also depending on the deck that you're going to uh, have uh, you're going to be able to use also some healers uh, i always try to uh, summon at least one hero in my in my tower uh, i don't know who um, uh, the enemy is and honestly most probably they will try to uh, reach my tower they will do some damage and i'm always trying to replenish my life that's why i'm using at least uh, one hero as i mentioned now eventually you're going to get some legendary heroes if you do play enough as i mentioned if you're going to get those try to see which ones are suitable for you uh, obviously different kind of heroes as i mentioned are going to provide you with different kind of skills uh, try to summon as fast as you can uh, if you see that you cannot place a specific hero eventually try to summon again uh, you will lose those three cards but you will get additional heroes here it is this is the second time that i cannot use any of those heroes so i will just need to wait until i'm going to have enough uh, coins to summon again i will try to get the ones with the damage so here it is as i just mentioned i got some golden uh, some silver coins sorry not golden coins and right now i'm trying to focus on doing more and more damage because right now i'm trying to kick his ass oh so here it is i won so this is how the fight goes uh, this is how you're going to be able to win uh, if you will watch this ad you will get additional benefits every uh, uh, chance that you're going to get to win a fight watch these ads because you will get more and more rewards out of it and that's how you're going to be able to earn more and more cards now regarding the heroes let me show you this is my hero deck over here uh, i'm able to uh, get uh, more and more here it is more and more legendary heroes to come so for sure this is a game that will need more and more updates and for sure you need to play it okay now besides that if you do have enough uh, gems you're going to want to summon over here uh, you will get some additional additional heroes over here it's going to be hard to summon so at least try to play as much as you can uh, you will have enough options 
over here in the shop to get some gemstones if you're going to put your money it's going to be up to you you will be able to watch some daily quests if you're going to watch those you will get additional gems uh, as you can see if you're going to play at least four pvp fights you're going to get more gems more gems try to uh, complete these daily quests are going to be really really awesome now different kind of activities that you're going to be able to participate in in the arena in different kind of live events so try to participate in those but those are uh, requiring from you uh, specific uh, trophies so you do need to play in the pvp more than i did in order for you to actually be able to play in those events now besides that you're going to have the co-op as i just mentioned in the co-op you're going to be able to fight along with an additional player and depending on how many waves you are able to pass you're going to get at the end of the fight additional additional rewards you will uh, play in the same tower as your uh, your hero that uh, it's uh, recommended by the by the game honestly and depending on that option you're going to uh, pass further and further kill more and more monsters and more and more silver coins more and more cards at the end uh, the idea is that you're going to be able to sweep just one raid daily uh, but only after you already passed one so you have three main tickets uh, in this co-op options daily if you're going to jump into one fight and you reach let's say 50 waves it's going to be a good good idea for you to actually just uh, use quick raid option but if you notice that you went only for let's say 30 waves don't use that option and try to fight again and try to go as further as you can uh, eventually you will get uh, let's say a more pro player in your uh, tower and he will help you move forward and forward and that's how you're going to be able to actually reach wave 15 at least that's the highest amount that i went uh, in this game now if you have played it and reach further drop a comment let me know your main tips regarding this game your main thoughts honestly a lot a lot of heroes to be unlocked in this game and it's going to take a while until you're going to uh, get the hang of it now if you have played it as i mentioned let us know how far did you reach and honestly your main tips regarding this game Besides that guys, just keep playing and that's how you're going to earn more and more crowns for you to unlock more and more events. Until next time, take care and be safe. Bye.